Good day fellow DIYers. Uh, today we're going to be replacing uh, suspension components in our 2000 Honda Prelude. In this project we'll be replacing uh, four struts and uh, four springs. So front lower ball joint and uh, two of uh, the upper ball joints. For this uh, particular uh, suspension job, I will be starting at the rear because uh, the only thing that we will be doing in the rear is to swap out the strut and uh, swap out the springs. And then after we complete that, then we will start uh, replacing all the suspension parts that we need on both sides in front. So first thing that we want to do, lift the car up, remove the tires. We will be doing this side and it's identical to the other side too so all right after removing the two nuts uh, from the top now it's time to remove the upper ball joint here in the rear so uh, first thing that we want to do is to remove the cutter pin Once the cutter pin is removed, go ahead and remove this uh, nut and this is a 17 millimeter. After removing uh, the 17 millimeter nut, uh, you can use your ball joint separator and remove uh, the 17 millimeter bolt that holds uh, this entire uh, strut assembly. The strut assembly here at the bottom is held by a 17 millimeter bolt. your rear strut assembly out and now we will be just doing the same procedure on the driver's side After removing both of uh, uh, the suspension assembly or the strut assembly, now we want to use our uh, spring compressor tool so we can safely remove uh, the top hat. These are the only things that I'm going to transfer to the new one. So you want to push this uh, pin or lock pin, mount it to one of uh, the section of the springs. And then you have to put this one on the very top end of the spring. And then same thing, you want to push the lock and you want to start tightening, tightening up this uh, bolt and get your 19 millimeter uh, impact driver, or you can also use your regular ratchet and start tightening this bolt. 
So you want a spring compressor to safely remove the top cap. After compressing uh, the spring, now you want to go ahead and use a 14 millimeter socket. And that's how you remove the nut safely. Now it's time to assemble the new strut assembly. And pay attention to where this uh, dip, that's where you want the end of the spring to sit on. Use the new nut that came with the strut assembly. Assembling the two struts for the rear. Now it's time for us to install it. It will be just a reverse order of how we took it off. And remember, these two bolts need to be mounted up top. Make sure that you line it up so it will go uh, through the holes. After ensuring that the top uh, two bolts are already inserted to the hole, uh, you want to insert now your 17 millimeter bolt at the bottom. After you insert the bolt, now you want to tighten it up. Upper control arm. Then after that, you just reinstall uh, the cutter pin. After installing the cutter pin, uh, now you want to go back here on top of uh, the upper strut mount and you want to insert two of the 14 millimeter nut. Now we will just have to put the tires back and we'll start doing uh, the other side. After putting your lug nuts, uh, make sure to torque it down to 80 foot-pounds. And this side is done, so we're going to the next side and finish that one up too. Now we're ready to install the driver's side our rear strut assembly. The installation of this one is uh, also the same as uh, the passenger side one so let's get to it Now that we have everything uh, on the rear side installed, now it's time to lower the car and remove the car. After finishing uh, the rear end of our car, now it's time to do the front end. After lifting the car and putting it on jack stands, we will remove the tires.
After removing the front tires, you want to make sure to make uh, the ring round again or a little bit rounder. So you want to push it up. And now we'll go ahead and use our 36 millimeter to take out this uh, axle nut. Once you got that one loosened, you just want to put it aside and then tap the axle to go inwards. And then after doing that, the next thing that we're gonna be removing are the 10 millimeters bolt that holds the ABS and the brake line. After freeing up your brake line and the ABS, ABS line, you now then want to remove uh, the upper ball joint, which is a 17 millimeter. After removing the ball joint, we're now removing the tie rod end, which is a 19 millimeter. After removing the nut of the tie rod end, you just want to tap it on the side. So it would release it. And now you also want to separate the upper ball joint. Remove uh, the ABS sensor, which are held by two 10 millimeter. After removing the ABS sensor, you just want to put this one on that side, and you want to put back uh, the two bolt that was holding the ABS sensor. And then after that, you want to remove two 17 millimeters that holds the brake caliper. Once you remove uh, the bolts for the brake caliper, you just want to slide the calipers off just like that and you want to put your uh, brake caliper to rest on the right radius arm and now we're ready to remove the cutter pin on the lower ball joint once you remove the cutter pin uh, we then now want to go ahead and remove this nut and it's a 19 millimeter and once you remove uh, the nut from the lower ball joint now we want to separate this two so we can pull out the spindle by itself and now we can just lift uh, the entire spindle After removing the entire spindle assembly, we then now want to remove this uh, bolt, which is uh, through and through. And that bolt is a 17 millimeter. Using up the 17 millimeter bolt. We also want to remove this 14 millimeter bolt. Wiggle it out a little bit now so it will release. This is where the new uh, struts are gonna sit in. Just to remove uh, the struts. You have three 14 millimeter bolts here on top of the strut tower. So you have one, two, and three on that side. So we will just want to remove all of them. Uh, whenever you start to remove this last bolt, make sure that you hold your strut on the bottom so you can catch it. After removing the strut, you also want to remove this upper control arm. And 
and then now we can just pull our upper control arm out so we have here our strut assembly our spindle and our upper control arm uh, all the replacement that we're going to do here uh, including the strut applies to the driver side so we will do this entire set first and then it will be a time lapse for the uh, driver side and now let's get to it after securing the spring now we want to release this 14 millimeter nut and now once we got everything that we need for the new strut assembly we can then now assemble it uh, the nut that came with the new strut insert this uh, stopper next thing would be this uh, dust shield once you inserted the dust shield uh, make sure that you have uh, the washer the springs top hat where it should stop now you want to get your 14 millimeter and that's good for this application we'll be using the ball joint remover now we're ready to press this uh, upper ball joint from the control arm we have here the lower adapter of uh, the ball joint remover and this cup you have several cups that will fit but just find something that will ride uh, to this top the way i will assemble this one is just like that and then an old 14 millimeter socket that i will place here so once you have everything assembled like this and start uh, threading it in you have your dismantling uh, cup at the bottom our 14 millimeter socket uh, under uh, the bolt sticking out from uh, the upper control arm and we also have this cup that's a little slightly bigger than ball joint so we will be using a 7 8 or impact uh, driver and we want to go slow and I think we got her out and that is your old upper ball joint so this is our upper ball joint what I usually uh, normally do whenever I replace upper ball joint like this I just want to remove uh, the boot between uh, clips or springs once you remove uh, this retainer uh, clip or retainer spring you want to gently pull uh, the rubber boot out and then we will go ahead and install this just like that and this one needs to be pressed in so you want you once you have this one installed like this initially now you want to put your cup the opposite way taking it out will be on top putting back in will be here at the bottom we will be using this other uh, installation cup so it will be sitting here like that and then the cup that we use to remove it will go in towards the inside the installation cup at the bottom installation uh, cup right here on the top you have your uh, exposed part of uh, the upper ball joint you have your uh, sleeve inside and another installation installation cup uh, at the bottom and we'll also be using a 7 8 
to tighten this one. And that's the new upper ball joint. Now it's time to put back this uh, retainer. So now we finish installing our new upper ball joint to this upper control arm. Next thing that we're going to be removing is this uh, lower ball joint here in this spindle. Uh, this is the new replacement part. Let's start by removing uh, the dust shield or the worn boot. Now removing the lower ball joint, we will be using this cup here at the top and then the bigger sleeve that we have, we will invert it. So this is small opening compared to this one will be going through and then this one goes here. You know, once you have this one secured like this, it's time to tighten up the bolt. Now we can just push the bolt joint out. So after removing the ball joint, now it's time to put in uh, the new ball joints. Before we put this one in, we just want to put a little bit of lubricant on this. Once you get it started like that, uh, you just want to make sure that it's going down straight. And now we're ready to press this one in. There's supposed to be a Honda specific uh, ball joint remover, but this is what we have, so this is what we are working on. We're gonna stop until the top of uh, the lower ball joint is already flush to this uh, to the knuckle assembly. And now we got our lower ball joint installed and pressed in. We're gonna be starting with the knuckle assembly. And then while you are attaching uh, the lower ball joint, you also want to install your axle right away. The axle nut, just to hold it in place. The next thing that we're gonna be installing is the castle nut of uh, the lower ball joint. And now we will install a new cutter pin. Install our upper control arm that has the new upper ball joint. So the upper control arm is held by two 14 millimeter bolts. And then after installing uh, the upper control arm, we can now then go install our new uh, strut assembly. Line up those uh, three bolts uh, to the three holes on top. And then start to add a nut while holding this entire assembly. And there you go, once you get that one started to hang like that, now we can go ahead and install a suspension fork. Is held by a 14 millimeter bolt and then after that you can go ahead and install uh, the bottom part of uh, fork to the lower control arm then insert your 17 millimeter bolt 
Now we want to uh, reinstall our ABS sensor and it's held by two 10 millimeter bolts. Install our tie rod end. Tighten up this 14 millimeter bolt suspension fork. After tightening up this uh, bolt, now what we got left to do is to install back our brake caliper. The brake caliper is held by two 17 millimeter bolts. Secure the castle nut from this upper bolt joint. We insert our new cutter pins. Tighten up this uh, 36 millimeter axle nut. After installing your axle nut, now we want to tighten up this uh, three nuts. One, two, and then the third one goes here. And these are held by 14 millimeter nuts. Now, after installing all of our uh, suspension, now it's time to put the tires back. It's already dark, so I will do the other side uh, tomorrow. But I will do a time lapse because it's just the same procedure on uh, the driver's side. Once we got this uh, tires back uh, on the ground, uh, we will torque the lug nuts at 80 foot pounds. And I think that's it for tonight. And the time lapse of uh, the other side will be uh, tomorrow. Stay tuned. One eternity later. And now the continuation of our uh, project. So the only side that we have left uh, to do is the driver side components so I will do a time lapse on removing all the components on this uh, suspension and the install on that one too would be a time lapse uh, right then let's get to it Now uh, we were able to remove the upper control arm, uh, the strut assembly, and the entire knuckle. So this is the uh, lower bolt joint that we're going to be replacing here. Excessive movement and it's, it's already out of spec. And then as far as this uh, strut assembly, the only thing that we're taking out from this would be the top hat and as far as this uh, upper control arm uh, the only thing that we're going to be replacing is uh, the upper bolt joint After completing installing all the parts that we need for the suspension, uh, the new spring, new strut, uh, new lower bolt joint, 
and new upper ball joint. Now it's time to install it back. After installing everything back together, the only thing that we have left to do is to lift the car, remove the jack stands, and enjoy the fruit of our labor. If you're new to our channel, uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the new uploads that I will be putting up on our channel. Stay safe DIYers, have a good one.